in the bible it is said that in the old testament that the one who will be coming will be born of a virgin and then the jews would not accept christ so they said that it's not written the virgin is written the girl now in sanskrit language girl and the virgin are one word we did not have 8 year old girls as we have nowadays so the virginity of a woman meant that she was a girl who was not married as yet or who has not met her husband so far that is the essence of purity which was the power of the guru principle so for a guru who is in charge of leading others into enlightenment has to know that his power is to be used as a virgin power a pure power a guru cannot use his power in a way an ordinary person can use it so his relationship with his disciples whether they are boys or girls has to be absolutely pure the purity should be of such a limit that a guru should not accept anything from the disciple about this lots of things have been written by many saints especially in maharashtra also kabir das and nanaka have clearly talked against the people who have relationship with their shishyas or disciples either with greed or with lust they have called them as rakshasas in the same way the people who are today supposed to be the leaders the gurus in sahaja yoga have to remember that their relationship with their disciples has to be of complete purity and virginity in the olden days it was all right that people did not know about the punishments that can fall upon such a person who uses his power as a guru for his own gratification but today at this time when the punishment that can take place in those days of last judgment could be very severe and as a mother i have to warn all of you those who have started their centers 
or those who are becoming gurus as leaders. That you have to have a very detached mind and clear-cut understanding within yourself. You cannot mishandle money, you cannot misappropriate money, you cannot use anything for your own purpose which belongs to the collective, nor could you use anyone for the gratification of your lust. If you have any such weaknesses, it's better to get out of Sahaja Yoga for the time being and come back when you are better off. There is no place in Sahaja Yoga for impure people. Purity is to be worshipped out and out. As we say that in the West they sin against the mother, People don't value their chastity, but in the East, especially in India, people don't know that they have to be absolutely honest as far as their money is concerned. And the worst thing could be that we seek power. If not these two things, we seek power in Sahaja Yoga. To them it becomes like their own domain and they start using, asserting their power over others. This cannot be possible it will not work out. Those who will try to dominate others just for the satisfaction of their own ego will suffer a lot. 